how do you feel? You mentioned a little bit earlier about dignity, like that you really want them to feel that. And I know there kind of is a little bit of a difference between a hand up and a handout. And how can we um, help you? I know with our church that we, um, I know sometimes it's like we're in a crisis situation. A girl is about to be evicted, all of that. And the church really likes to look at is like, is this a situation where something just happened this month and you can't um, afford it? Or is it something like you couldn't afford it last month and the month before and the month before that? And is it something where we need to just do something different and let's let's try something different um, and, and really helping her dream and make a plan um, to be able to help herself. And, and I love how you worded it with dignity. Like how, explain a little bit more to our listeners what you mean by that. So, and, and probably the best example that I can give is, you know, we get hundreds of calls, right? And women in need and all different kinds of need. Um, and when we explain our program, I mean, I could think of just one the other day um, where she was really excited and you know everything sounded good until until we gave her some of the things that she would have to do when she's here um, and even things you know like participating in a finance class where we're going to pull your credit report and you know so so I guess what I'm trying to say is that the moms that are really ready for something different and wanting to see a different result in their life, they're willing to sacrifice. They're willing to, you know, maybe be away from their friends for a while so that they can focus on, they're willing to do those things so that a year, two years from now, they're not in the same place that they are today. Um, and and that that's the difference. Um, we could provide shelter every night to someone, but if if they want to come here and just get some diapers and um, you know be on their way, I mean, not that we'll stop them, but they absolutely have to put in the effort. We tell them. You know, this is only going to turn out as good as what you're willing to put into it. Like we are, we are just, we are not perfect <laughs> by any means. We will mess things up, um, you know, but we are here to support you. Um, and we're here to provide access, to give you access to the resources. But then ultimately it's up to them to really do what they need to do. And, and it, through that, it's through them making the phone call with us by their side. It, it's through, you know, the encouragement, but them doing it themselves where we see change. Because then they realize, I'm, you know, I'm not lazy like maybe that person told me that I was, or I'm not dumb. You know, I can have a conversation. I can ask the right question. They start building their confidence because they can see, you know, they realize that they are capable of so much more than what they thought. Um, and we believe that. We believe every single mom, no matter what she's been through, with the, with the support, is capable of overcoming homelessness and being stable. 